Hello, all my fellow knights, vikings, samurai, and Roland. My name is Nebula, and quadruple upload. Alright, this is, uh, I should be doing this every day if I can manage it. Uh, I'm joking. Uh, but anyways, um, yes, this could be the last one for today. I'm not 100% sure, but anyways, yes, this is for the last of the second group of hunters that I made. Veronix, the true mastermind. Okay, so here's how his story works. He is the only one that is a scientist's creation, okay? So here's how it works. Scientists are, like, experimenting on animals, seeing if they can give them abilities that are beyond what the humans can do, right? And the reason I'm making this a bit different than um, Spartans is because they're not born with this. This is a world where they don't have this. Scientists are already experimenting on them. But anyways, here's how it works. He's bas like so basically a hunter in Australia captures a giant python, okay? And what he does in the end is is that he decides that he's gonna in care of keeping this in the pit, he's gonna sell this. He's gonna sell this to a uh, like government agency because he needs money more than anything. So he does that, but the thing is, he knows it's just a snake and it's, an, it's still an animal. He feels bad. Because even though he's captured him, he's going to treat him as a pet, treat him well, even if he doesn't think so. But anyways, so here's how the sort of thing works in the end. So a bunch of stuff happens. The scientists are experimenting on him, but here's the thing. One scientist begins bonding with him. And every time... That scientist shows up, Veronic starts trusting him. He doesn't start lunging or attacking him. He starts almost communicating. The scientist decides to put some things in his uh, cage to see if, uh, how can I, see if, I don't know, he'll, uh, how can I put this? Um, to see if he'll respond. Uh, but anyways, he does. And the scientist starts, like, falling in love, like, not falling in love, sorry, but been, like, trusting him a bit more. And starts seeing that he is just more than a snake, even without all these, other, like, tests that are doing on him. So that's how that works. Um, but here's where it gets a bit annoying. After so many years, the, like, scientist's program begins to get shut down. And Veronix is just sitting there. And keep in mind that he's still relatively young. And as of right now, he is suddenly being transferred to like a different state where they're probably going to kill him. And the sad truth is, the scientist can't save him, even though he tries. And in the end, the scientists who cared for him and treated him more than just a stupid animal, as for testing, ends up getting killed. This enrages Veronix, and it starts awakening the powers that the scientists gave him, and attacking literally every human he sees in sight. He breaks free, and he decides to see if he can find the Australian hunter who caught him and actually treated him with respect before the scientist did, because he's the only other person he has left to call family, and he does. And the journey there is uh, training Veronix to fight back against this sort of scourge on all animals and their treatment, fighting back against them. and. Seeing if he can kind of cover the truth as to why, why him almost pretty much. So that's it. That's his story. Uh, hopefully that's um, at least a little bit interesting. I'm not sure what uh, many people are going to say to that, but I'll see how it uh, goes. Not much else to say really. That's pretty much it. Um, last thing I want to say really is uh, he is a snake, he's a, he's a full black snake, I wanted to make sure that it's a detail that uh, is notable for the uh, drawers of him. He is full black and he's got like, but here's the thing, he's a snake but he actually has, he's like a, um, he walks on his head, he has legs and arms, he walks on his hind legs and he has a tail like, uh, he sort of looks a bit like, um, Inferno, except he hasn't got the dragon wings, he's just got the tail and the arms with the python head. Uh, but anyways, that's all for now. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And this is Nebula, out. See you later.